today let's uh, see how to declare pointers and initialize pointers and how to use the pointer variables now first of all declaration of the pointer variables now whenever we want to declare a pointer variable the pointer variable should be of a specific data type right and then this is the operator that we use for declaring pointers this is a unary operator basically and then we give the name of that particular pointer now suppose i want to declare a integer pointer it will be like this int pointer ptr if you want to declare a float pointer it will be like this fptr character pointer cptr it uh, you can give any name the names ptr fptr cptr are all user defined now the thing that you have to understand here is i have declared three pointers here one is ptr fptr and cptr now f uh, ptr is an integer pointer which means that it can point only to integer variables only to integer variables fptr is a float pointer which can point only to float variables and cptr is a character pointer which can point only to character variables so basically what you need to understand here is whatever is the data type of the pointer it can point only to that type of data let's see here supposing you have int a is equal to 20 then i have int b is equal to 30 float c is equal to 40.5 and char d is equal to g something like this right now we declare some pointers i have pointers int pointer ptr right then f ptr and i uh, c ptr right now these are pointers these are just declarations of pointers now in the memory the pointers and these variables have been declared right so you have a here b c and d right now these pointers see this is your a right b c and d and the values you have given come inside this these are all normal variables you have 20 30 this is 40.5 and this is g right now i have declared the pointers over here so pointer is also a variable basically right so these are three variables here in your memory this is your ptr right and this is fptr and this is cptr okay now we have to initialize these pointers pointers should not be left without initialization right so when you leave pointers without initializing it with some value it can lead to some junk values or it can lead to some uh, direct access to some memory locations which can prove 
harmful right so you have to be careful that whenever you declare a pointer you have to initialize that pointer with some value now we learnt that pointers can store only addresses right so i can't write something like in star ptr is equal to 20 this is wrong okay so what do i put in star ptr this is int uh, we have already written int pointer iptr uh, ptr there right now see here itself i'll write uh, i'll write ptr is equal to ptr is equal to ampersand a ampersand a and i write here p f ptr is equal to ampersand c right and this is c ptr is equal to ampersand d like this <clears throat> now what does this mean now this ampersand operator that I have written there, this operator, this gives the address. This is the address of operator. This gives the address of that variable. Now suppose I write ampersand A. If I write ampersand A, this means the address of A. If I write ampersand C, this means the address of C. So basically, when I write PTR is equal to ampersand A, this means store the address of A in PTR. So here you look at this now. Now, whenever we um, define a variable, give a value for that, declare a variable, at that point, a memory location is allocated to that and each memory location has got an address. So let's say this address is 1015. Addresses are assigned automatically and uh, here we are just assuming that these are the addresses. Right? Now when we say uh, this PTR is equal to ampersand A, now inside this 1015 goes. FPTR is equal to ampersand C, now inside this 1017 and CPTR here this one 1018 like this the addresses are assigned. So basically now it means that this PTR is pointing to this A, this FPTR is pointing to this C and CPTR is pointing to D like this right. So this is the declaration in star in pointer ptr this is the declaration and this is the initialization both of them can be done in the same uh, line also like you can write something like this is equal to ampersand a you can also write like this right Okay, now this uh, operator, this is called the at address operator and this one is called the address of operator, right? Okay, now let's look at something here. Now, like I had written, int a is equal to 20, int ptr is equal to ampersand a, right? Now, if I write a is equal to 40, now what happens? This means the value inside A is getting changed, right? And here I say C out A and then I say C out PTR. 
Now basically when we do this, this is A, this is PTR, right, okay. Now inside this you have got 20 and this has got the address of A, supposing the address is 1011. So here I have the address of A. Now what we have done, we have written A is equal to 40, right. Okay, I will put one more statement here before doing this uh, A is equal to 40. Before A is equal to 40, we print C out A and we also print C out star PTR. Now, when I say C out and then say like this, this will print the value which is inside the address. That is 1011, right? Okay. Hmm. This is pointing to this. Fine. So when I say star PTR, this C out A will also print 40. C out PTR will also print, sorry, 20 and 20, right? Okay. After that, now this statement A is equal to 40. When I say A is equal to 40, what happens? This 20 gets replaced. 20 gets replaced with 40. Right? When this 20 gets replaced with 40, now after that, now again we are saying C out 40. Now this statement C out 40, this will print what? The C out A, this will print 40. This will print 40 and C out star this PTR right when I say C out PTR here the pointer variable the pointer variable has got just the address over here this address is referencing to this variable now what does this variable contain this variable contains 40 so C out PTR will also print 40 right the same thing could have been now suppose I write something like this is equal to now what does this mean this means what is ptr star ptr star ptr means whatever is there inside that so this means 40 and to that i am adding 20 so this becomes 60 right and this 60 is put inside that particular address which address 1011 so basically it's the same as if I write A is equal to 40 plus 20 or A is equal to A plus 20. This and this star PTR is equal to star PTR plus 20. Both of them are the same. Either you make changes directly to this or through the pointer you can make changes, right? So this is the basic manipulations. How to actually... Uh, access the original variable through a pointer variable that's what i have shown here so you should understand that this pointer sorry this pointer variable ptr so this is basically the value inside the variable right see uh, see i'll i'll show you this we had this, uh, okay, this is the pointer variable, this is PTR, fine. Now, this is the value inside this and each variable has got a address. So, obviously, this variable will also have some address, supposing, let's say, it got the address 1055, right? Now, this is what we are going to concentrate on. The variable name is PTR. The value inside the variable is 1011. The address of the variable is 1055. Now look at this here. If I write C out like this, what will it print? It will print 40, whatever is the value inside that variable A because PTR is pointing to A. If I write C out just PTR, what will it print? It will print the value of PTR. What is the value of PTR? 1011. The address which is stored inside that. 1011. Right? And if I write C out ampersand PTR. 
ampersand ptr means the address of ptr address of ptr was 1055 so see star ptr will print the value to which it is pointing just ptr will print the value which is inside that variable that is the pointer variable and ptr is equal to sorry uh, one minute see out ampersand ptr this will print the address of the pointer pointer variable right so this way we use the pointer variables to access normal variables and to change the values inside the variables we'll be doing more on pointers how to do pointer arithmetic and how to uh, predict the output uh, with pointers using pointers in arrays all this so i end today's session with this bye